Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Otso and welcome back to Pokemon White. Today, we are taking on the Nimbasa City Gym, the fourth gym, the electric type gym. Um, so, before we actually, I'm going in here because I want my, give me my fresh water, bitch, please, thank you. What a great way to say, give me fresh water, bitch, and then say, please, thank you. Okay, um, but, okay, damn. So, we have a little things to take care of before we go in. Um, Sheila, I want to switch out her item. Uh, I have the dark glasses currently. Because it's the Electro-type, I want to put on the soft sand, because then it makes her dig better. Yes, we will switch that. Um, also, another thing that I want to do. I want to check our TMs, because... Oh, I was right there. Let me see, because I want to see... We have, we have Rock Tomb, which is a good TM. I want a Rock-type move, because of the Flying-type... Like, Flying Electric Pokemon. Um, let me see. Do we have any other Rock-type moves? I'm not really sure if we would. I'm assuming probably not. Um, we do not. We just have um, Rock Tomb, which is a very inaccurate move. I don't really like that, but it's basically just a holdover because it will be replaced eventually. Um, ooh, why can Sandy know that? Huh? Why would Sandy be able to know that? I don't know. Um, we're going to put it on Sheila because Sheila is most likely going to be the Pokemon that we use to like decimate this gym. I think we're going to get rid of Assurance. Because Assurance is, like, good for double battles, but not really anything else. So, we now know Rock Tomb, and I think we are now set to take on the gym. There are two different ways. Um, okay, I guess we gotta wait for the thing. Okay, we can go into this one here. Let's see, I don't really know the path for this. I don't know how many trainers there are gonna be. There's a trainer right here. Okay, what does this button do? Is that a button or is that a teleporter? I'm not entirely sure. We will go in. We got um, Sandy leading us off, so we'll see how Sandy does. Um, Sandy's level 23. I'm a little afraid of seeing what the levels are in here. Because the gym's, like, um, Ace is 28. Imolga is 24. I mean, Sandy just needs to kill one, and then she'll be good. But, like, Spark doesn't do anything to us, right? Oh, no, it does. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of Charge. I'm thinking of Charge, not Spark. Okay. Psy Beam, how much am I going to do? Probably not a lot. Oh! It did more than I thought it would. Not bad. Double team. Okay. As long as we hit, I am good. Because we just need to get this kill. And then I believe Sandy should have... Uh, not evolve. Uh, level up. Which then, Sandy should be in the realm of being able to defeat him. Um, do I use Moonlight? No. We're, we're, we're too... We're too, um, like, much health to use it. Okay. I don't like that. At least it's confused, but I don't like double team. That is going to be very annoying. Please hit Thank God it it hit the double team. Holy shit, I would have been pissed. That should be a level. We're pretty damn close. It is a level. It might even be a level for um for Norval. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. Emolga. We'll keep out Sandy. Just because Sandy needs some levels. I mean, we're probably gonna go against the gym leader with um with Sheila. So I don't really want to get Sheila too overleveled, you know? Because I feel like Sheila could probably take them on right now. Like, if I'm being honest, I feel like Sheila could absolutely dominate them right this second. But, like, I don't... So, I don't want to get her too many levels. I don't, I don't want her... She's level 24 now. I don't want her to be, like, level 27 or something like that by the time of the gym. Please hit yourself. Thank God it hit himself. And then, boom, that's going to be a kill. Right? It should be. And, uh, yes, sir. Let's go, Sandy. Thank you a lot of XP, which is massive. Norval's level 21. I think we are close to taking the XP share off of Norville. I'll see, maybe, maybe once he reaches 23. I think once he reaches 23, I'll take off. I do need to heal up a little bit. Um, I, let's just use up our potions, I guess. We don't need, like, all, we have three potions. We'll just use them all up because that heals us basically up to full. There we go. We also have the fresh water, so, you know, doesn't really matter. We can get that. Okay. So it switches the path. Okay. Interesting. So now we're going to go up. So, we get dropped off here. Okay. Then there's a trainer here. So, is there two different cart systems? Because I don't want to miss the battles. I want to be able to battle everyone. So that then I can, like, you know, get the XP for the gym. Because that would be pretty fucking smart to do. Um, Rich Boy Cody, a Blitzel. Probably like level 26, if I had to guess. 25? Close enough. I do want to know, why do they call it gyms? 
like, I get it that, like, the trainers are training. But that's not fun good. That's not good at all. Okay, it was okay. But I get that they're training in the gym. So it's like, you know, you, that's what you do. You train by, like, working out in the gym. But, like, what made, like, Game Freak originally call it a gym? Because, like, is that the only reason? Because I feel like this, it should have a different reason. I'm not sure why, but I just feel like... I feel like it's just like a weird thing where like gym does not mean what I think they mean, what the, what they think they what they think it means. You know what I mean? Um. Okay. Rich boy Cody, you're done. Goodbye, buddy. Um. I'll see how I'll see what I do with the next trainer because I don't know if I want to heal up. Um. Sandy before the next trainer. I'm not really sure. And also, I don't really know where this area all leads to. Where in the fuck is this thing, bro? Thank you. I was gonna say, where the fuck are? Oh, I did not expect that. Son of a bitch! I never healed Sandy. Shit. This is not gonna be good. Uh, Sandy's probably going to die. Um, a Blitzel. They're fast. Fuck. I can't believe it took till Gen five to make a Zebra Pokemon. You know, like I'm actually very shocked that it took till Gen five. Ooh, what I could do is I could do mo Moonlight. I could do Moonlight to heal us. That would probably be smart to do. So, like, we're going to take this Flame Charge. It doesn't do a lot. It's going to make it speed go up, which doesn't matter. It's already fast than us. But we'll use that, and then we can use Moonlight. Oh, Blitzel's dead. That was a crit. Nice. Is going to level us up, maybe? No. Okay. Um, It's another Blitzel. I think we'll use Moonlight. This Blitzel might level us Sandy up if Sandy survives it. Which it could. Like, Sandy could. Moonlight Flame Charge shouldn't kill us unless it's a crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't, don't, don't. Oh, that's too close for comfort. I don't like how close that was. That was not fun. We will use Moonlight to heal up a little bit. Um, good. How much does that heal? I think it's half health. Yeah. Okay. So now I think we should be able to use. Mmm. I don't like that. I hate paralysis, but at least you like. You didn't hit me. Please hit though. Please, please. Oh, I forgot you had synchronized. That is good. That's good because we're probably not gonna be like one tap it. Yeah. Um, please be paralyzed. We're faster with the quick claw. Massive. You love to see it. Easy dub. Bye bye. And Sandy should be level 25. Yes, she is. Let's go. Once you synchronize, synchronize, synchronize. What does synchronize do? What does it do? Um, using an odd shockwave, the user inflicts damage on any Pokemon of the same type in the area around it. What? User inflicts damage on any Pokemon of the same type in the area around it. Does does that mean it only does 70 damage to a Pokemon with the same type? We'll give her a Zen Headbutt. Just because Zen Headbutt's not really good for Sandy. But that makes me think is that it only does damage to Psychic types. I'll look it up. I'll look it up eventually. But if it only does damage to Psychic types, that's pretty fucking bad. Like, I mean, not pretty fucking bad. It's atrociously bad. So we'll see. Um, I, I'm not really sure. This fucker made me miss the goddamn thing. Because it takes fucking ever. Why am I going down here? I meant to switch out. I want to put uh, Sheila up so Sheila can get some XP, I guess. Norville's level 21. I don't know if Norville's going to be ready for the gym. Because he might get to, like, level 24, 324 maybe I'm not sure how high he'll be by the gym I don't know but it looks like maybe where do we come out at wow this is like a relaxed roller coaster whoa dude holy shit dude that was cool dude um I don't know why I keep saying did okay um wasn't there another exit there though off of that one I'm not sure fuck another trainer god damn it as long actually no I was gonna say as long as they don't have a um a whatever it's called the e goalie e Ebola whatever it's called the flying like squirrel electric squirrel thingy as long as she doesn't have that I was gonna say we're good but we have Molga we have fucking rock thrown out which it doesn't really hit like it doesn't hit often but when it does it's gonna hit rock tomb not rock throw it doesn't hit often but when it does it's gonna fucking hurt that's not gonna hurt us that much because we are also dark good sir obviously that hurt a lot more than I actually thought but that hit really are you fucking me like i get that we don't have stab on that but that's super effective i know there's only 50 damage but what the fuck do i just use bite because we got better because we got stab on it we might as well i'm thinking we just use 
fight because we get stabbed. Like, what the fuck? I never expected that to be that way. That, um, okay. Moxie is good if there's another Pokemon, but I don't think she had another Pokemon. Norville's level 22, massive. Yeah, she only had one Pokemon. But I'm starting to think that maybe Bite is better off for this battle. Interesting. I, I, I'm thinking Bite might be better. I think we might have to use Bite against a, a Mogul. Mogle, Mo whatever the fuck your name is. Oh, this is the gym. Um, I don't really want to be here. If I'm being honest, I, I got to go heal. So I'm guessing I press this to go back and heal. Because I do got to heal. So I think there's probably like another trainer or two. Because there's probably going to be like another platform or two. Because there was a way to get through here. So like, we'll see what's on the other side of this. Whoa, we got the zoom to... Oh. It just takes me back to the beginning. Okay. Well, I'm going to go heal up. And then we will take on the gym leader. Uh, hopefully we can kick her ass. All right, I am all healed up and ready to take on the fourth gym leader. We got Sheila starting out, so literally none of her electric type moves can hurt us. So that's great. Um, did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin. Here we go. Um, I don't remember your name. Alessa. Alisa? I think it's Alisa. Here we go. Um, let's see what we can do. Three Pokemon, they're Emolgas and... There's two Emolgas and a Blitzel. If I remember, oh wait, no, Blitzel's evolved for more thing. I'm not sure, but level 25 is a little scary to start off with because it can do some damage. So we'll, we gotta use Bite. Fuck, Aerial Ace might do a lot. I, ah! I did not like that. Did not like that. Did not like that either. Oh shit. You and your Pokemon are shining br brilliantly. I think we switch out to. Yeah, we're switching to Scoober. We're switching to Scoober because Sheila is way too important to taking out her final Pokemon. This might be the first gym battle we lose if I'm going off it. I thought, you know, we can do good, but I don't know. We'll see how much. Okay, Scoober can take these hits. Good. We'll use Tackle because it's got Stab. Volt Switch? Okay. It's probably going to go into its other Emolga, which I'm okay with. Um, It's going to do some good damage, though, because, yeah, because fucking, um, you know. Uh, fucking stab. There we go. Couldn't think of it. So we're gonna do some damage to this Amolga. Uh, solid damage, not great. Oh, fuck. Volt Switch might kill us. Please don't kill us. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, thank God. I was gonna say, please at least let me be able to do a tackle on him. Oh my God. That, thank God. That was clutch that we did not die there. Um, okay. Oh, a crit. The focus lens is great. Is that, no, scope lens. Sorry, not focus on. Scope lens is great. We are going to keep Scoober out because if Scoober dies, okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's, gonna, it's still going to be able to use full glitch. Fuck, of course it knows quick attack. God damn it. Okay. I think we go into, um, I think we go into Sandy. Yeah, Sandy. Yeah, I think we go into Sandy. Sandy's the only one that can really do anything that without risking, um, Sheila. That's my thing. So, Psybeam. Fuck, he's going, she, I mean, she's going right into her ace. Not great. Not good one bit that she's going to be going right into her ace. Fuck. Okay, well, at least we're going to be doing some pot shots on her ace. That's good. The Zeb Strike. At, stri, uh, Zeb Strika? Zeb Strika? I don't know. Zeb Strika, I think it is. Okay. Ooh, a pretty good pot shot, Sandy. But, oh, thank God. Thank God. Um, Quick Claw hit. Because, um, if not, I think it's probably going to one shot Sandy if I had to guess. Probably. Or get really close. Yeah, one shot. Shit, okay. Well, with Seb Stricka out, I don't feel like... I don't know what you can use. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a little afraid because I don't know what you can use. I'm going to go with Sheila and pray that it only knows Electrotype moves. I'm going to assume not. It's probably going to quick attack and kill me. Probably. We're going to use Dig. Fuck, please don't kill, please don't kill, please don't kill, please don't kill. Oh, that's not good. That could be game right there. Oh, we gotta go into Snack. Shit, that could very well be game. Son of a bitch. Okay, Leaf Tornado, I am begging you. Okay, it's not gonna be very effective. That's good, not very effective. Leaf Tornado is going to be effective. Please, Leaf Tornado, do some damage. I'm begging you, you need to do some damage. Come on. Oh, so close, okay. Almost dead. She's gonna use her potion here, right? Fucking knew it. God damn it. Zip Strike is now fucking fully healed. Shit. Okay, well, we're Leaf Tornadoing. I should have maybe left a Leech Seed on there. Probably done. I should have done Leech Seed there. Accuracy fell. That's massive. If, if the accuracy keeps falling, that is fucking massive. Quick attack. Okay. 
Um, ooh, that did... Oh, that was crit. I was gonna say that did a lot more than the... the uh, whatever her electric move was. Okay. Accuracy is gonna keep falling. We're gonna keep Leaf Tornadoing, because at some point, it's gotta miss. It missed its Flame Charge! Massive! Massive! Oh my god! I'm going for the Mega Drain, because she might heal. I knew it! We're going for Mega Drain. We're sucking him dry. We're sucking her Zeb Strike a dry. The nice thing is, her accuracy has got to be atrocious at this point. Right? It's got to be. That didn't do enough. I need to keep doing Leaf Tornado. Fuck! Fuck, man. No. Not good. No. We're screwed. Shit. Oh, that's not good. We're up to Norville. Fuck. This is not good. I don't think we got this. Norville's got to come pretty fucking clutch here. What's better, Brick Break or Fan Attack? I need to check. Oh, no, I need to check. What's what's better? Fan Attack does 60. Um, hits without fail. And Brick Break does 75. We gotta do Brick Break, right? We gotta try Brick Break. Please, miss. Your accuracy is bad. No! Oh, this is probably gonna kill Snorville, right? It's probably gonna kill him. He survived! Oh, but we're using Brick Break versus a goddamn flying type. Son of a bitch. This is not good. Oh, this is not good. Shit, shit, shit. That's gonna do nothing. Yeah. Shit. Okay, um. Faint attack it is. Aerialis killed us. Oh, see, Mumkey, it's all you have to you and you're gonna get one shot. Oh, no. See, Mumkey. I need you to pull something major out of your ass. Please, I'm begging you. I need you to pull something massive out of your ass. That's gonna. That's that's GG's. That's GG's right there, isn't it? It's gotta be GG's, right? Yeah. Oh, not. But we're fucking dead either way. We're, like it's not gonna matter. We are dead. Um. Yeah. Like bite's not gonna do enough at all. Yeah. Well, we'll use skull just to get. Yeah. GG's. GG's, everybody. God damn it. Well, that is our first fail. I was cocky. I let off. I, I can't lead off with Sheila next time. I just can't. Leading off with Sheila is a no go. Because Sheila can get absolutely wrecked by Imogas. But when Sheila uses Dig against um, the Zebst Zebstrika, it's over. Like, Zebstrika's got Quick Attack and Flame Charge, but it can hit. Flame Charge doesn't do a lot. And Quick Attack does do a lot. But as long as we survive one hit. I think the dig should be able to do enough where our team should be able to pick up the rest. You know what I mean? So, I think, if I'm being honest, I'm going to go train up probably Sheila and Norville to level 25. That way we lead off with... Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, we lead off with probably Scoobert. I guess we would lead off with against an Amolga. It probably goes Scoobert and Sandy versus Amolgas. Then Snek versus Zeb Strike, Zeb Strika, or Sheila versus Zeb Strika. And then Norville Snek being our emergencies, and then Sea Monkey basically being the GGs, you know? Um, I think we're gonna do that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, notifies you every time I upload, and yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode when we hopefully beat the gym leader. Bye!